Hey guys, I'm Logan. Not sure if you've ever seen me before, but I have a small business fixing and selling computers. And I recently have gone through three different all-in-one coolers, so water coolers, that were broken. So out of my own curiosity, I thought I would take them apart and show you guys. So two days ago, I bought an MSI pre-built computer that was overheating and shutting off. And the guy couldn't explain it, so I got a steal of a deal. It was an 11th gen i7. And the only problem it had was this MSI water cooler. Now, going around the internet, it's very clear that these often fail in these MSI machines. The MSI 260 and 360 water coolers, uh, their pumps fail all the time. So, I figured out pretty quickly that this was the problem. And then what did I do? I went on Facebook Marketplace to buy two used water coolers to replace it. Uh, these were 20 bucks each. And usually I do get great deals on parts, but uh, every now and then there's somebody just trying to sell a broken part, right? So these were also both broken. There was the, this iBuyPower one and a second one that I just started taking apart. And we're about to get into that clip, but it was a smaller single fan one. So we're going to see, just because I'm curious before I throw these away or repurpose them, uh, what the liquid looks like. That's one thing I was wondering. And... We'll try to take apart the pump housing itself and see what the pump looks like after these have been used and have died and are basically garbage. So as you saw, I took apart the smallest cooler and I didn't realize that this was actually a screw that I could take out. So I tried to break that off first thinking that it was some kind of cap and eventually I got the little rubber stopper out and there was just a screw that I could have drained it from. So instead I drained it from the inlet and outlet nipples and then I drained the tubes from the pump itself. So the liquid that came out, where'd it go? Here it is. I put in this mug and it is nasty. It is actually nasty. Look at this. How is that okay to be floating around in your radiator? Imagine building your own custom water loop and seeing water this dirty. There's little clumps of particulate matter. I don't know what it is. It looks alien. I'm amazed that my iPhone can even see that close, but it, there's like gelatinous clumps. And let's just pour this in a shot glass, shall we? Because it's not very much liquid at all. Good old shot. Looks like some... I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> this was the liquid in my water cooler. There was so much particulate matter in it. It looks like sand and dark brown gel. So that is disgusting. Cheers. Next I'm going to start taking apart the pump itself. Now I don't actually have screwdrivers for this small of heads, so I'm going to take off the plastic housing from the outside and see what I can find this way from the top down. Oh, it dripped on my leg, are you kidding me? Okay, so now it looks like we're looking at the LED itself. This is just all cosmetic as the cover. 
And this is the pump. This is it. Just a small copper puck. Water goes in one side, out the other. Is it just me or I think that the, in this particular one, it looks like the pump may actually be inside of the radiator because the power cable goes into the radiator. So this one's a little different. There's no pump in this housing. This is only a metal puck. Um, so this could actually be reused. It's the f pump built into the radiator that's the problem. I've never had a failed water cooler before. And I noticed that that is a problem with, or that is a similarity with all of these is they all have a pump built into the radiator instead of the puck itself. The puck just has only the cooling plate and LEDs and no power. This is where the pump is in the radiator. So it seems like for some reason, these coolers that have pumps built into the radiators instead of the puck itself are having problems. Um, it's so strange, guys. So keep in mind, if you're buying a water cooler, buy one with a good reputation or maybe buy one with a pump built into the puck. I don't really know what I'm talking about with these because I don't know uh, what's best, but I was curious. I wanted to take it apart I before I repurpose them or throw them away. And so that's it, guys. So again, cheers, dirty ice water, and uh, stay building. As one final note I wanted to share that I did get to take the LED circuit board out of the pump. So now I can use this for something else like a fake arc reactor, or whatever else I want to build, but pretty cool little circuit board. And it's just five volt. It's clearly indicated where the ground is and where the positive is. So it can be used again.